So this is a web application called Chart. It's an online chart editor and it has many different options that you can use and create so many different kinds of charts. So what you would click is create, start creating charts now, but that logs you in and so we won't go over that. But once you're logged in, you will press this charts button and then you will click my charts. And as you can see, I don't have any charts. And so you press create a new chart and then it brings you to this page. We will call this chart that we're gonna make budgeting. This matches my PBL. My PBL is, or my project-based learning is over math and specifically budgeting and just how to keep track of your money and just financial literacy with money and what you're spending your money on and what that looks like. So there's many different kinds of charts you can make with this. You can make a pie chart, line chart, bar graph, dual axis, histogram, um, these scatter plots or bubble plots or motion plots um, charts. And then also they have options for heat maps. And as you can see, there was many different charts that they have in those specific areas. So you click whichever one you would like. Um, yeah, so for today's purposes, we're just gonna see what the pie, um, the pie graph, pie chart looks like. So there's different, you can either do multiple categories or a single category. And for this, we'll do multiple because when you're dealing with budgeting, you have a lot of categories. And so on the left side, it's about to pull up on the screen, we'll see a bunch of things specifically related to the chart. So the properties, the data, the background, etc. And the chart will pop up in a second on the right side. But we will click data and wait for it to load. So it has all of this sample data that's already in it. But what you're going to do is you'll press clear and then you'll begin creating your own chart. So if I was creating a budget for myself, I would just type in food, and then in order to create another column, you're gonna right click, and you're gonna add a row below. I don't know why the food went to the row, but label food, and then we'll add another column To the right and we'll label that one gas. So let's just say that this is for the month of, of February. So I'm just gonna say on food I spent a total of $200 and gas I spent $68. So then it should pop up in a second to the chart. So you can see that a majority of the money that I spent this month was on food. Um, and then you go to title and change the title of the chart. So we'll change that to budgeting. And then in order to save the chart, you go all the way back up to the top and you press save. And once it's saved, you can go back to home, you can go back to charts, click on my charts, and if you would like to edit it, then you just click on it again and you do the same process. You can edit whatever you'd like. If you'd like to create another one, you simply just press create chart again. There's also one other option that this web app allows, and it's the option to share with others. So you're able to share this that you've made with others, um, or you can just choose to keep it as your own. But there's many di different options for this site, and I think that it's very user-friendly. And definitely something that I look forward to using in my future classrooms.